Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's the boy Awareness. I'm here to bring you guys another video. Yes, sir. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys on what you should be doing whenever you play my girl Coney Love here. And it's just a few simple steps, a few simple tips to get you on your way to being one of the best Coney's you could possibly ever see yourself as playing. Anyway, let's hop right into it with the perks. I got Jump Start, Taekwondo, and Slippery. What Jump Start does... Stamina consumption on dashing is reduced by 50%. You're going to be burning through that stamina bar, and it's not going to be going anywhere, and that's why I chose this perk, just because I don't have any choose flight or anything like that. So jump start for me, if you have good, if you know how to maintain your stamina bar to where you're now always lacking without running out of stamina, this is going to be like the perk you're looking for. If you do see yourself running out of stamina and not know how to control your stamina bar, then go ahead and take slippery off and go ahead and put choose flight on which will give you extra stamina bars in the long run just so if you catch yourself running out of stamina you got another one to burn so let's go ahead and hop back over here to taekwondo door i threw taekwondo door on only because connie has like no defense to herself it's just all cross spaces that she has to be looking forward to or or just optimal pathing so with taekwondo door as long as they didn't get rid of the doors obviously if you stun the door stunning a hit a door slam on a family member the target will be uh, stunned for six seconds if you get this to level three it'll be eight seconds it used to be 16 seconds before the nerf but this perk is still good nerfed or not nerfed i definitely recommend this perk especially on connie because she has absolutely no defense and and killers just don't expect connie with a taekwondo door perk so i definitely throw th these two perks on for the for for certainty of you know being able to make sure i can you know withstand you know some of the damage or some of the plays that's going to be made within the game i go ahead and i got multiple multiple builds for her and as you can see you see jump start and you see the slippery just because those are my two favorite perks uh i threw bomb squad over here just in case i run into a hitchhiker uh threw some poison proficiency threw some into endurance um again you see the same build again with just different attributes uh i got another one with the choose flight the whole setup this is the shebang right here this is if you absolutely just don't want to be caught with Connie. So I got Jump Start, Choose Flight, and Slippery, Max Proficiency, again with the toughness. So there's a lot of perks you can really run with Connie, but you're definitely going to want to focus on Jump Start for the main one and maybe Choose Flight or Slippery. Those are going to be like your definitely build. This is definitely the, the go-to build if you're just looking to just rush, 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 escape, escape, and not really have to worry about getting into chases. If you don't, you're not really strong in chases, this is going to be your the build you're looking for. If you know how to control your stamina bar and, and you know how to make, you know, the right pathing and you got all the right stuff, you know, knowing what to do when you're in a sticky situation, then Taekwondo door is definitely going to be the build for you right here just to help you be a little bit more aggressive in your in your chases. So let's go ahead and hop over to the meme ability. Uh, so I went right, middle, middle. And went out to the right because of the shorter debuff duration, and I need the middle one. So that's the only reason why we went right. We can't stack. I'm not going to stack the recharge rate because I kind of want the shorter uh, debuff so I can actually, you know, be able to see again. Um, so I went. With the, so my next one would be stamina cost decreases. Uh, consuming stamina will be decreased when the focus ability is active, and it will be reduced by 35%. And then I have another one which will be no stamina cost. So whenever I pop my lock, no stamina will be burnt. And whenever I run with this perk, my stamina will not be reduced. And with this one, you see how it says it's already reduced by another 35%. I come over here to jump start, and I got another 50%. So it's going to be an 85% stamina con consumption whenever I'm inside my debuff mode, which is going to be nice, especially if you, you pop your lock and you have no terror radius, and you just have to look around, and you turn around, you see someone there, you're already in power, this is going to help you get to a nice little well or a loop, a tile, something to do, something to use. So as I came down here to attributes, as you guys see, it's it's, it's nothing but proficiency down there. Proficiency, proficiency. I, I just kind of juiced my Connie on proficiency just because, like I said, her whole the whole reason we play Connie is because she's, she's a power card. She can just fly through those gates. And I want to make sure with or without power, I'm still able to fly through those gates. I have enough uh i have enough you know common knowledge to understand like where i should be running uh my stamina bar i my routes i should be taking like what i should be looking out for so i personally as a gamer i picked out all up just playing the game for a little bit and knowing what i should be doing anyways so before we hop into the video and i'm gonna show you guys the few simple uh steps of like your safe spots uh what what routes we should be running as connie what we should be looking out for like cook locks and etc etc with connie so before we hop into the video i just want to make sure that you guys 
hit a subscribe button on the channel for me would you a like a comment show some love to the channel if you like to watch some streams i do stream on twitch so come on over to the twitch side of things and you can see some live gameplay there you can ask me any questions i got challenges I like to do with the viewers who come through we just like to spice it up so definitely come on over to the twitch streams and check out the boy live but anyways let's go ahead and hop right into the video so i can show you guys what this build can do and what i'm talking about how to become one of the best connie's the speed demon that she could possibly be so let's hop right into it. I appreciate you guys. Let's get into it. So we got a little bit of a family house game. Let's get it. Grandpa's already up. Oh. That's not helping the case. Uh, subscribe to yourselves to lockpick get a door going immediately the faster the better they got a cook so the faster we can get up there before he can place a lock the better that's the goal here oh, now that we're upstairs Let's see if we can find ourselves some health real quick Oh, we got the fuse right here. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Alright, that was a close one. And just like that, we're out of there. Let's use our slippery to get some more uh, speed real quick because we're going to need it. And let's go ahead and get up out of here with the jump start. And that's going to be a GG's. And we are out of there. Look at Bubba. He thinks he's about to do something. Oh, no. And go ahead and turn around. GG's, so GG's. Alright, let's get into it. So they have a sissy and a cook. So whenever we get upstairs and start getting applying the pressure, we're going to start looking forward pushing the sissy side because she's not going to have any type of slowdown for us. And if we pressure the cook, it's just going to make our escaping a little bit longer and a little bit more tedious to do. So we're going to go ahead and get our two lock picks, and we're just going to get right into Sissy's side. All right, looks like, uh, see which way Bubba goes. Hopefully Bubba doesn't pressure us. Uh, looks like we're gonna get this door unlocked and we're gonna be able to just race up out of here. All right, basement door is unlocked and we're gonna head right over to Sissy's side. We're gonna push her to the back side because she's most likely to come out the front. She came out the front over there, so we're gonna go out the back for sure, for sure. All right, there's that gate right there. Use the power on that lock right there just to get inside and instantly unlock the pressure. No faking with the power. Grab ourselves one more lock pick for this right here. And if we pressure the cook side like that, we would not even be able to do all this right here. So 
This is why you, if you want to use Connie, you definitely do not want to press your cook side just because that's just going to cause you a little bit more pain and hassle to get out of here. So definitely make sure you pay attention to who the family members are because you're wanna, you're going to want to pressure the side that's not cooks. So now that we got this battery off, let's go ahead and use our max proficiency to get this gate unlocked. And they have no idea yet. And by the time they realize, they even notice about that gate being unlocked, we're out of here. And that's a GG's, and that's how you do it. Quick Connie escapes. Let's get it.